Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good, mo- good afternoon. Today, as we continue again in the Easter season, and we prepare to celebrate the Ascension this coming Sunday, the Church also celebrates today, though, the Feast of St. Rita of Kasia. St. Rita was born in Umbria, lived in the 14th century, and she had a very difficult life in that, uh, even in that day. Uh, as we hear some horrors today, she was an abused housewife, and uh, finally, when her husband had uh, died and was, was murdered, actually. She became an Augustinian nun who worked in ministry among the sisters to serve the poor and the needy and those most troubled as who uh, had encountered some of the difficulties that she did in her life. Toward the end of her life, she was certainly, we, we believe, and embrace visited by the Lord in a very emphatic way and received what, what is known to be one of the wounds of Christ, which is a thorn that was embedded into her forehead. And so you often, you will see, whenever you see the depiction of St. Rita in the statue form, it has, she has the thorn in her forehead to show that she received acknowledging from the Lord the sufferings, uh, a, 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 a remembrance of the sufferings that she endured in her life, that she committed to the sufferings of Christ, and so then committed her life to helping others for the remaining days that she was on this earth. So we always call upon the intercession of St. Rita. She is another patron saint of those in desperate situations to help us, to be with us, to make us always aware of the Lord's presence in our lives, even in times of difficulty and desperation. For times when we might have forgotten the Lord's presence among us, we turn to him now and ask for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Bestow on us, O Lord, the wisdom and strength of the cross with which you were pleased to endow St. Rita, so that suffering in every tribulation with Christ, we may participate ever more deeply in his paschal mystery, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. One night, while Paul was in Corinth, the Lord said to him in a vision, Do not be afraid. Go on speaking and do not be silent, for I am with you. No one will attack and harm you, for I have many people in this city. He settled there for a year and a half and taught the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, The Jews rose up together against Paul and brought him to the tribunal, saying, This man is inducing people to worship God contrary to the law. When Paul was about to reply, Gallio spoke to the Jews. If it were a matter of some crime or malicious fraud, I should with reason hear the complaint of you Jews. But since it is a question of arguments over doctrine and titles, and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge of such matters. And he drove them away from the tribunal. They all seized Sathanes, the synagogue official, and beat him in full view of the tribunal. 
But none of this was of concern to Gallio. Paul remained for quite some time, and after saying farewell to the brothers, he sailed for Syria together with Priscilla and Aquila. At Chenchery, he had shaved his head because he had taken a vow, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our response is, God is king of all the earth. God, God is, is king, king of, of all the earth. All you peoples clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the most high, the awesome, is the great king over all the earth. God is God king of all the earth. He brings people under us, nations under our feet. He chooses for us our inheritance, the glory of Jacob whom he loves. God, God is, is king, king of all the earth. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our king, sing praise. God, God is, is king, king of all the earth. <clears throat> because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy away from you. On that day, you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we celebrate now this coming Sunday, the reality of the ascension of the Lord, Jesus gives his final farewell to his disciples here in today's Gospel on this Friday before that celebration. And so we are reminded, though, by him of, even though, as is the case with any human death in our families or among our loved ones that happen, yes, it is a time for grieving because that physical presence of they whom we have loved is no longer with us. But our only consolation in times of those deaths, and as Jesus is giving as consolation, to his disciples to prepare for his departure is the promise that we will be together again. And so that joy should always overshadow whatever grief we may have. But for a time we do grieve, understandably. But let it not overtake our lives and rid out from our lives the joy and the promise that is ours in the very reality of Jesus' resurrection first and then his ascension back to heaven, which we soon celebrate. God bless you.
The intention of today's Mass is for Antonio and Barbara Tarabocchio. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Cardinal Archbishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Peter and Paul, Saint Rita of Kasha, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, <clears throat> thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those of you receiving communion spiritually now, we pray with and for you the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come and be spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We remind you again that this Sunday is when we will be celebrating the solemnity of the ascension of the Lord, and we will also be using it as our Mass in which we are memorializing and remembering all those who have died, particularly over these past couple of months, whether it be from the coronavirus pandemic or for any other cause, as we have not been able to celebrate particular uh, traditional funeral masses during this time. So, um, again, those of you who have uh, throughout the week been sending us your intentions that you would wish to be remembered, uh, we will read those names at Sunday's Mass at 10.30 a.m., the typical time that we broadcast the Mass on Sunday. I thank again our music director and director of music ministries, Brian Walters and Casey Repetti for being with us as lector today in these last couple of days. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.